Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Well, currently just a few comments could be made on the euro currency since you see that market still calling inside of the range that we have discussed within the current week. Well, yesterday you see that uh, market has formed in fact almost the same price action as previously. So that is another way high wave pa pattern. So uh, by this action market has taken out of the low of this candle and trend has turned to the bearish side. That is not the stop grabber. So the close just few pips lower than the MACD. At least by my uh, software. This is Alperi UK. Well, maybe uh, you will have another picture since the forex is 24 by 7 market and depending on the broker the time zone you could see the different picture. But here at least on the based on the Alperi software software you you see that that is not the stop grabber and cu current trend now on the daily time frame is bearish but that carries just low sense since um, market continue stands inside of the range so it's not make any uh, attempts to exit from this area so that is uh, situation of the indecision as we said yesterday it's currently neither bullish nor bearish but if we recall that this high, it's 153.350 area, is the 618 extension of the weekly ABCD pattern. The consolidation after hitting just the 618 of the tight triangle of the pennant on the daily time frame is absolutely reasonable. That is normal price action. So from that perspective, from the perspective of the weekly time frame, I think that market still has more bullish chances. Since it has hit the resistance, that is also the weekly period, uh, sorry, a month period resistance one, well, uh, and turn to some tight consolidation just to accommodate for current price level after the hitting significant target on the weekly time frame. So that's the price action that should not lead to any suspicions and questions. Currently, it looks logical. That's why I think that uh, there are chances exist that market still continue move to the upside and can hit the 134.30 area as target of this ABCD pattern. Unfortunately on the daily time frame we do not, do not see any patterns. Probably this sideways price action since trend has turned bearish could now be called as uh, bullish dynamic pressure but personally I feel the lack of uh, bullish um, gravitating bu bullish power that um, should force on the resistance. So that's more looks like just a, as I said, pennant pattern. Now it's probably even more looks like the rectangle currently on the daily time frame. So on the four hour time frame, what do we see? In fact, we see the same picture as yesterday. No additional patterns uh, or something, so, so, no events that could uh, clarify more the current situation. Well, speaking about the trend inside of the triangle, I think that it's not necessary because you can see the price action is really very sloppy and choppy that a bit not quite uh, often could be seen inside of the triangles. Usually market uh, shows some uh, more clear move inside of the triangle, but these splashes inside of it uh, tells about the real indecision of the market, maybe even about some nervousness, uh, nervousness on the market, so not very good price action. That's why it's better probably uh, to stay flat or uh, strongly control your risk, take the positions with the tight stops closer to the lower end, uh, lower body of the consolidation, particularly to the 134.56 uh, area. Uh, still, the butterfly that we have discussed could work because the low, it's 132.56, has been taken out by the price action and theoretically this upward continuation could follow by this pattern as well. On the hourly time frame, uh, we do not see any patterns as well, but here we have some uh, interesting moments. First of all, you can see that the current consolidation has been uh, tightened by the price action, so you can see that initially that was the wide 
range now it contracted it's a bit uh, tighter and the pressure inside of it probably is growing since market feels uh, tight inside of the tight range and it needs to exit sooner or later from the tight range uh, usually the uh, as tighter the range uh, as stronger the exit of the price action from it take a look at this upper body you can see that in fact this previous top previous consolidation on the hourly time frame is the barrier it prevents the price of continuing move to the upside market couldn't, couldn't uh, win over it so it holds the further upward move to the up, uh, further upward move from the lower bottom you see this consolidation of our diamond pattern that also prevents market from the moving lower so that will probably uh, couldn't continue uh, forever so uh, sooner or later market will show the breakout also we see this some sort of the bullish divergence as you can see that price action stands flat or, or even if you will draw the line by the lows you will see that market is forming some sort of the bullish divergence with the MCD indicator but um, definitely hardly could be treated as the significant bullish sign so you can see um, in fact we have no um, clear and good patterns no new events that could clarify the overall situation except those that we already uh, are dealing with it. Uh, so that's uh, I mean the budget fly the triangle dependent on the daily time frame well, all that we could see uh, all, all that we could do is just to wait um, for the clarification or maybe some uh, new patterns that could appear today maybe during the tomorrow trading sessions because currently in fact I do not see nothing so if you would like to trade and make the position uh, on the breakout either upward or downward so you should take the corresponding position if you would like to enter in the upward breakout it's better to wait when the market will show some splashes to the downsides for instance like like this one and take the position closer to the lower body because if you will be wrong market will show the downward breakout your loss will not be significant the same is true for the upward breakout if you are uh, sorry for the downward breakout if you are have the bearish view wait when the market will show the splash to the upside to take the position so uh, that will help you to hold risk at low levels well that in fact mm, the only thing that we could do is trying to possess ourselves for a breakout from this consolidation but uh, taking into consideration the previous price, price action and uh, current situation logically is to suggest that breakout should follow to the upside because we uh, have an accomplished ABCD pattern we have the pattern still this is the butterfly that is forming and we have the logical pennant uh, triangle consolidation after reaching of significant resistance around 133.50 133.80 area and that consolidation so that, that tight retracement is absolutely reasonable and normal for such sort of the behavior that's why I think that chances a bit more for the further upward breakout but how it will happen in reality well we'll see